So today we will learn how to create two different types of drop shadows in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. So here I have two skulls and if you want to know how to create these, there will be a link on the end card of the video. So the first way we can create a drop shadow is simply by using the drop shadow feature. And if your object is created with a lot of different shapes, first we need to select all the shapes, right click and click group. If you don't group it, all the objects will have their own drop shadow instead of just one single drop shadow right here. After grouping it, go to Effect, go to Stylize and select Drop Shadow right here. Here we can click the Preview button and here we can play around with these parameters to set the drop shadow exactly how we want to. When you're done, simply click OK and here we have this standard drop shadow. And this will give us this kind of layering effect where it looks like the object is hovering over the background. But there's another way to create a more realistic looking shadow. And remember, this is just a few ways to create a shadow. If you have another way that you like, please let me know down in the description. So this second way will be a manual way. To do this, first select the object, then go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. This will give us a copy of the object behind the first object. If we use the arrow keys, we can see that it's behind the first object. Now go to Object, click Expand, then go down to the Pathfinder panel. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find it right here. Then click this button right here that says Unite. This will turn the shape behind into one single shape. Now go to Effect, go to Distort and Transform and select Free Distort. And to create a shadow on the ground, first we need to squeeze this shape down to the ground. So simply grab this anchor point right here and pull it down. Do the same thing for the right side. Make sure to keep these lines somewhat parallel. Now you can decide if you want to distort the shape to the left or to the right. In my case, I have already created a shadow on the left side of the skull. So the drop shadow is going to the left as well. So simply grab this corner and drag it to the left. Then grab this corner and drag it to the left until the lines are somewhat parallel. It does not have to be precise, just do the best that you can. And I'm using Illustrator CS6, but in the new versions of Illustrator, I'm sure there's a much smarter way to do this. I just want to squeeze it a little bit more to the ground. When you're done, simply click OK. And when the shadow is how you want it, go to Object and go to Expand Appearance. Only do this when you're sure the shadow is exactly how you want it to. Because after expanding appearance, you can't edit this effect anymore. And to make it look like a shadow, we want to drop the opacity a little bit. And here we have a more spacious looking shadow. Thank you for watching.